guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a june wrap up what i read in the month of june i'm very excited for this i feel like i've redeemed myself may i think i only read four or five books and so i was slacking a little bit and so i think i definitely redeemed myself with the amount of books i read i had a really good book month and of course i am going to leave my goodreads down below if you want to like read more of my reviews um but before we get started i really quickly just want to do like a tbr for july i never do this so this isn't even a real june or july tbr it's going to be one book that i absolutely want to read I'm telling you guys this that way i have someone to hold me accountable but i just really quickly to get the tbr out of the way and like i said this isn't my real one i just published a um a physical tbr so if you want to see my tbr i would recommend watching that video i'll have it um linked up here below or up above <laughs> i want to hold myself accountable to and reading is mountain beyond mountains what vincent my dog's in here by the way yeah i have mountain beyond mountains um it's by tracy kidder um the quest of dr paul farmer a man who would cure the world i want to start reading more nonfiction. last year in 2020 i read a majority of nonfiction books and this year i feel like i've read a majority of fiction books which is of course okay i just want to make sure i'm getting some like real stuff i mean fictional books i'm still learning something but um i think a book like this is really beneficial and my boyfriend's dad actually lent this to me so i want to read it and um, that way we can have a conversation about it. I can get it back to them sooner. But yeah, this is my July must read. I'm just gonna hop into this. I'm gonna try to go in order. I have my Goodreads account pulled up. This might be a little difficult with Vincent in my lap, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna we're gonna make it the best possible. So yeah, I always go in chronological order. So that is what I'm gonna do. So the first book I have is Mockingjay. This is the third book in the trilogy. As you can see, it's right up here. Um, I read the first two obviously in the month of may i think that like ma the hunger game series made up a majority of the books i read last year so uh, or last month but um yeah this book was super good overall i really enjoyed the series and to finalize the series why i reread the uh the novels was because i read the ballads of uh songbirds and snakes wow guys this book was so good i was not expecting to like a book that had snow as like the main protagonist slash antagonist he was like kind of a mix of both but the parallels are so crazy and I'm, of course she could write this book as a prequel kind of thing because she knew katniss's story but the prequels between lucy gray baird or bird i always say bird but i'm pretty sure it's like baird um the parallels between her and katniss are just so insane and just it is insane if you guys have liked the hunger games movies haven't read the books read the books and then of course pick this up um i recommend anyone who has enjoyed the hunger games books or movies to definitely pick this up i also finished a devotional it's lisa turner curse um seeing beautiful again it was a 50 day devotion i did her embrace devotional i think my mom's doing it right now but i really enjoy it and i thought this one was actually better than the embrace one I'm pretty sure I rated it um, more. But yeah, I love devotionals. And so reading this, oh no. Devotionals, so reading this was always good. And yeah, all three books that I just showed you were all rated five stars. I do not, I'm not very picky when it comes to five stars. And I know some people see that as a problem. But if I really enjoy a book, I'm going to rate it five stars. But anyways, let's continue. The book I have is the first book that I read from these authors. It's Christina Lauren. If you guys don't know, these are two women who um, write under the name Christina Lauren. But this book is called The Soulmate Equation. I'm pretty sure this is one of their newer books. Um, I think they said it was their first hard back book. And so this one was written in a different point of view and everything. Um, I read this in the month of June because Maddie Mayo has her book club and this was the June pick. I actually don't know what the July pick is yet. I need to check that. I completely forgot. Um, but yeah, this was super good. I'm pretty sure I rated this 5 out of 5. Yeah, it was 5 out of 5 for me. The story was a little bit different. Obviously, it's a romance. Something goes haywire and then it's like happily ever after. But the demographic was a little bit different for me. It follows a single mom who's a little bit older and it's about dating apps and so it was very different um but still really good a little steamy scenes you know you know but yeah i really enjoyed this one and like i said it was five out of five next i have another author that i hadn't read before i read this book in one sitting it was so good it was so gripping it's a thriller it's called then she was gone i feel like this is such a popular book i like this book so much that i picked up the 
Invisible Girl. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's called by Lisa Jewell. Um, but wow, this this book was insane. Like it's creepy. It it's kind of weird, but it was really really good, and I really enjoyed it. If you guys like thrillers, I would definitely recommend this book. And I also rated that one five out of five. This book I have is from one of my favorite authors, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have Maybe in Another Life. I got this for my uh, birthday. I want to read all of Taylor Jenkins Reid's novels just because I love her writing. I love all of her stories. If you guys don't know who she is, she wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and then Daisy Jones and the Six. And so this one was really good. I had never read a book like this with two storylines with the same protagonist. Um, and it, it like she didn't have to choose between one story it just literally followed both stories all the way along and i thought it was so good i rated it four out of five um but wow i really really like this one if you guys can hear vincent like just slobbering and just you know living his best life i'm sorry but he's adorable so i'm not moving him I have is one that i wanted to read in june just because it does have lgbtq um plus themes in it and boy was this book good i feel so late to this trend but it's the song of achilles um by madeline miller i don't even know this book was amazing i didn't cry i think i teared up a little bit um it wasn't as like heartbreaking as I thought it was going to be but I also knew like the Greek mythology like I already knew what was gonna happen um, but this was a beautiful retelling Madeline Miller's writing is just phen phenomenal and I actually have her other Greek mythology retelling Circe and I definitely want to read that book I'll probably finish that before school starts um, I don't know if I want to say it'll be in my July video but maybe my August video but this book was really good book talk was right on this one I will admit book talk recommended a good one i have another book that has lgbtq plus themes in it and it's called one last stop this author wrote um red white and royal blue is that what it's called i think so yeah but that is a um men who love men romance and this is a women who love women romance so i thought this was very interesting i think this was my only this was only my second book that dealed with like um lesbian themes in it and or I guess our main character was bisexual but um I thought this one was so good it was steamy it was cute I will say this one is not as good as red white and royal blue I don't think but I still rated this one five out of five I thought it was really good it was quirky I don't know if I should say that word um yeah let's not I just really liked the um like the time traveling aspect of it that's not even really what it is I swear I'm not spoiling anything because it says that on the back but um yeah I thought this was cute I really I really do like this one. Oh my gosh it literally has red white and royal blue on the front of it anyways also I just love the colors like it's so it's so feminine and cute next I have a fantastic book my good read says I read it within three days but I'm pretty sure I read it I started it on june 24th and finish it june 25th because this book i could not put down i love colleen hoover this was my second book i ever read from her um the first book was ugly love and i would say that was like these the colleen hoover or <laughs> hoover the colleen hoover novels i've read thus far this year are i would say leading the top of my charts i'm gonna at the end of the year pick my favorite fiction book because last year my favorite fiction book was the seven husbands of Ev evelyn hugo and I feel like I just want to continue a theme of picking like my favorite but this book was so good I can't decide if I like this one more or it ends with us I just feel like it ends with us it's just like a standalone like you can't compare it to anything else but this one was really really good and I loved the characters in it the characters were so likable um, I liked how it goes back and forth between the two main characters um, obviously the female is like the main main character but um, I really like that and um, yeah I rated this 5 out of 5 it was beautiful I did almost start crying I was like fake crying to my sister which also I think I was like kind of real crying but yeah I really really like this one it was a it was like such a quick read next book I have is a book that I read in one sitting it's the people we meet on vacation by Emily Henry I wanted to read this this summer and so I was really glad that it was a book that I was able to read just like straight through um, I don't like this one as much as Beach Read, but this one is very good. It deals with like um, best friends, enemies to lovers. I think that's what you would 
call it they're not really enemies though they just like fall out or they have a fallout but yeah it's really cute and i love the colors and i think i rated it four out of five no i rated it five out of five so yeah so i have a poetry book i read this um by ruby carr this is her third poetry book it's called homebody it was really good i really like her poetry i i think people categorize it as like tumblr tumblr girl type stuff but i enjoy it and it's easy to read and enjoyable to read so yeah next i have another colleen hoover novel i think i read this within two days as well it's called november 9th i wasn't sure what this novel was going to be about be about obviously i read the back but the plot twist in it was just like so heartbreaking five stars obviously it was just so good i read this so quickly um I really can't rank Colleen Hoover's novels just because they're so good. I actually have four more per novels on my bookshelf that I'm wanting to read. Who knows when I'll read those, but um, yeah, just super good. I have is a nonfiction book. I've actually been reading this book for so long, so you guys have no idea how excited I was to finish this book. Um, but yeah, I started this April 30th, I'm pretty sure, and it is June 30th when I'm filming this, and I finished this yesterday so um but it, it is a four out of five for me i believe yeah i rated this four out of five it's a beautiful book it is written by a doctor and it talks about all it talks all about the body's trauma and how your body reacts to it heals from it um it is very interesting and like i said it's written from a doctor who has had experience with patients so a lot of the book is um his stories with patients and i just thought it was so good and I really like it. I think anyone should read this. Everyone deals with trauma, and so I think anyone would benefit from this. I will say I'm an avid reader. I'm a person that can read a book. Like, normal book amount of time is maybe three days. Two to three days. Um, if it's a really good book one day, you know? Um, so, me taking almost two months to read this was a little little intense um but obviously since it's written by doctor i've literally literally said he's a doctor four times now three times four times anyways there is some like verbiage in here that is hard to understand and it since it is such a heavy intensive book it does take a little bit longer to understand but um yeah i really enjoyed it and i've been recommending it to everyone i think one of my friends is going to read this next and then the last book I have, which I actually finished today, I actually got it yesterday. Um, I pre-ordered it. It came out on June 29th and I finished it. It is called The Betrayed by Kira Cass. I love Kira Cass. If you guys don't know, she um, wrote the well-known Selection series and she also has a standalone called The Siren. I read all those books. And then in December, I actually have the book. I read this book. It's a two, it's like a duology. Um, it's called The Betrothed. It's about, you know, as you can tell, like, it's kind of like, kind of the similar vibes of the selection, uh, crown, betrayal, love interest. But yeah, this was the sequel to that. It was really good. It was easy read. Um, I think I rated it, yeah, I rated it three out of five. I mean, it's obviously not the best book I, I've ever read. I think that, I think here cast targets more towards, like, probably 16 year olds like I feel if I had read this sophomore junior year I would have eaten it up but um I liked it nonetheless I'm not I don't regret that I read it at all but yeah that's all the books I read in the month of June I, I read 14 books hopefully that's correct I would say that's a pretty good um month for me that actually might be the most books I read in a month this year maybe I don't know um but yeah, I'm very excited for the month of July to see how many books I can get through. I know I have some musts that I want to read this month, but I just don't want to tell you guys just in case that it doesn't happen. I don't know. I had this weird thing about failure. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this. Make sure to comment what you guys are reading or if you've read any of the books that I read this month. I would love to know. But yeah, I will see you guys next week with a new video. Peace and love. Bye, guys. You guys, Vincent, he's just been sitting on my lap here. <gasps> Vincent. <gasps> oh, I know, I know. Okay, bye.